Hi, my name is Mess, and today I will introduce our new UE160 pan tilt zoom camera. We call it the next generation PDZ camera as it is the first to support the ST2110 standard, an option for a 5D router via USB, in addition to many outstanding features, such as a newly developed 4K sensor offering superior sensitivity, a wide-angle lens with up to 20 times zoom, a ray reduction filter for LED wall shooting, significantly improved autofocus with advanced technology, high-speed output up to 120p in Full HD, support of high bandwidth NDI, SRT, 3D protocol and many more. The UE160 was designed to create unique and new visual expression by combining the flexibility of a PTZ camera to freely set positions and angles with the specifications of a studio camera, allowing production teams to easily capture clear images even in the most challenging lighting conditions. Let's now look at some of the features in more detail. The UE160 features a new generation image processing engine with improved processing power. High pixel image data output from the 1 inch type 4K MOS sensor offering an excellent balance between depth of field, image quality and high sensitivity. Together with the high processing speed to improve the signal to noise ratio. Having high sensitivity of up to f14, 2000 lux, with high image quality to capture subjects even in the dark is super important. Not only for use in theaters or doing live performances. The sensitivity can be set to either normal mode or low light mode, depending on the shooting location and scene. The UE160 is equipped with a new face detection autofocus system that combines face detection autofocus with contrast autofocus. Its fast focusing speed and high focusing accuracy enables it to track subjects and capture in-focus images, whether it is continuously focusing on a moving subject or switching focus on multiple subjects. It is the first camera to support 120 frames of high-speed output in 1080p over SDI or HDMI. This high-speed frame rate will help sports broadcasters capture slow motion shots in HD for replays, while seamless integration with the robotic system brings live broadcast style movements to the PTZ, resulting in a dynamic and engaging video production. The UE160 has an integrated optical low-pass filter, which reduces the moray challenge that producers and creators are experiencing doing shootings with LED walls. It also has a waveform monitor to help with setting up the camera and a level gauge on the monitor output to support you when doing setup. If you're working with SMT2110, you also have the possibility of sending a return video feed from the switcher back to the camera, allowing the user to check the footage in real time. The camera supports HDMI, 3D SDI, 12D SDI, an IP network, as well as optical fiber also equipped with two XLR channels for audio input. The output method can be selected to suit the operation, making it easy to add to an existing imaging system or build a system tailored to the site. Now let's talk about video output and protocols. There are no restrictions on the video output, even when outputting from multiple terminals simultaneously, allowing simultaneous operation in 4K. High bandwidth NDI and NDI HX, which encode and transmit video in real time, are included. The UE160 supports SRT, the next generation video transmission protocol with strong security suitable for unstable network environments. RTMP, RTMPS are also supported to enable direct upload of video to live streaming services such as YouTube and Facebook Live. 4K video data can also be wirelessly transmitted on the spot by connecting a 5G mobile router via USB to the terminal on the rear panel. It is possible to broadcast events and live streams from locations where cables are not installed or from outdoor event venues, allowing true flexibility. The UE160 of course supports the 3D protocol as a standard feature. This makes the camera compatible 
with all the main players in the 3G engine market. The tuning rail, dolly and totem systems also includes 3D for camera movement within virtual productions that can easily be combined with Panasonic PDZs. The UE160 includes an additional tally lamp on the camera rear so that you can see the camera status from any angle. Now for the PDZ ecosystem. As mentioned, the UE160 is the first PDZ camera to support the 702110 standard for video transmission over IP networks. Of course, the UE160 is compatible with other Panasonic products and solutions, as well as our extensive software suite. This includes the free-to-download PDZ control center for multi-camera management, the virtual USB driver for PDZs to appear as a USB camera over a network for multiple applications, and the ECIP Setup Tool Plus for network camera management. Last but not least, the Panasonic auto tracking software options providing professional, silent and autonomous tracking. In summary, the UE160 offers total freedom for video productions. Packed with features, protocols and options, it can adjust to the different needs in multiple markets. From 12D as standard, optional ST2110 for the studio and broadcast market, anti-moray filter and high sensitivity for live events and theaters to a high speed output for sports. The UE160 ticks all the boxes. Thank you for joining me today. If you require more information, have a look at our UE160 on tour video series and check our website and social media channels. See you soon. <music>